Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I hope you are well and good right now. I am Nikki Vanessa Amshikin, your teacher for Introduction of World Religions and Belief System. Welcome to our class for the second semester. Today, we will be discussing about elements of Christianity. We have here our learning objectives. At the end of the module, you should be able to first cite person, places, or symbols sacred to the Christian faith. Number two, analyze the core beliefs and practices of Christianity. And then the last one, you have to explain how Christianity influenced and affects the life of its members. What is religions? Religions are born in history and they gradually develop into the living traditions and affect the lives of their followers. From their regimentary forms, religion continually evolved into complicated system replete with rites and practices, recruitment of members necessary. History of Christianity The history of Christianity is focused on the life, death, and resurrection of the person, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The history of Christianity concerns the Christian's religions, Christian countries, and the church with its various dominations from the first century to the present. Christianity originated with the ministry of Jesus, a Jewish teacher and healer who proclaimed the eminent kingdom of God and was crucified. AD 30 to 33 in Jerusalem in the, Ro in the Romans province of Judea. His followers believed that, according to the Gospel, he was the Son of God and that he died for the forgiveness of sin and was raised from the dead and exalted by God and will return soon to the inception of God's kingdom. The traditional story of Jesus tells of his birth in the stable in Bethlehem in the Holy Land to a young virgin called Mary who had become pregnant with the Son of God through the action of the Holy Spirit. The story of Jesus' birth is told in the writings of Matthew and Luke in the New Testament of the Bible. His birth is believed by Christians to be the fulfillment of prophecies in the Jewish Old Testament, which claim that a Messiah would deliver the Jewish people from captivity. Jesus' Ministry after, this, after the story of his birth, little known is about Jesus until he began his ministry at the age of 30. He then spent three years teaching, healing, and working miracles. He taught in parables, everyday stories which had divine messages for those who would hear, who would hear it. He had 12 disciples whom called to follow him and help him in his work. Persecution and Death Jesus stated publicly that he spoke with the authority of God. This claim angered the religious authorities of Palestine and they handed Jesus over to the Roman authorities as a revolutionary. He was tried to heresy, condemn, and to put that by means of crucifixions. Resurrection On the Sunday following his execu execution, 
some of his woman followers discovered that the tomb into which his body had been placed was empty. Jesus then appeared to them alive, and that Jesus, and as Jesus, they had known prior to his death. His followers realized that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus was seen by many of his disciples and followers over the next few days before. According to the gospel accounts, he was taken up into heaven. Belief and Teachings Christianity believes, number one, Christians are mon monastic. They believe there only one God, and He created the heaven and the earth. This divine God He consists of three persons: the Father, God Himself, the Son Jesus Christ, and the last one is the Holy Spirit. Number two, the essence of Christianity revolves around the life. Thus, and Christianity believe on the resurrection of Jesus. Christians believe that. God sent his Jesus Christ, the Messiah, to save the world. They believe Jesus was crucified on the cross to offer the forgiveness of sins and was resurrected three days after his death before ascending to heaven. Number 3. Christians contend that Jesus will return to earth again in what's known as the second coming. Number 4. The Holy Bible includes important scriptures that outline Jesus' teaching, the lives of teachings of major prophets and disciples, and the offer instruction for how Christians should live, should live rather. Number five, both Christians and Jews and Jews follow the Old Testament after Bible, but Christians also embrace the New Testament. Number six. The cross is a symbol of Christianity. Number seven, the most important Christian holidays are Christmas, which celebrated celebrates the birth of Jesus. The Easter, which commemorates the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus teachings. Jesus used parables, short stories with hidden message in his teaching. Main themes that Jesus taught, which Christians later embrace, include number one, love, love God. Number two, love your neighbor as yourself. Number three, forgive others who have wronged you. Number four, love your enemies. And the number five, ask God for forgiveness of your sins. Number six, Jesus is the Messiah and was given the authority to forgive others. Number seven, repentance of sin is essential. Number eight, don't be hypercritical. Number nine, don't judge others. And number ten, the kingdom of God is near. It's not the rich and the powerful, but the weak of the poor who will inherit his kingdom. Number eleven. In one of Jesus' most famous speeches, which became known as the Sermon of the Mount, he summarized many of his moral instructions of his followers. Celebrations Christian celebrations and festivals center around important dates in Jesus' life. Advent, the four-week season of preparation for the birth of Christ. And for the second coming, often an event read in use as a focus for prayer during Advent. And then Christmas, Jesus' birth, often celebrated with nativity, scenes and stories, pageants recalling the history of Jesus' humble birth and the stable surrounded by animals. Epiphany the visit of the three wise once Jesus just after his birth and their subsequent spreading of the news of his birth throughout the world. Lunch, the period leading up to Esther, commemorating the 40 days Jesus spent in the desert fasting and prayer, a time for personal reflection and improvement through prayer, fasting, and study. 
Holy Week. The last week of Jesus' life included Palm Sunday, which celebrated his triumphal entry into Jerusalem the week before he was crucified. Monday, Thursday, the remembrance of the Last Supper with the disciples, the Good Friday that Jesus day was crucified on a cross, which is the most recognized symbols of Christianity. Esther, Jesus' resurrection from the dead, eggs are the main are the major symbol of Esther since they symbolize new life. Crosses are often covered with flowers, with flowers rather to symbolize Jesus' victory over death. Ascension Day, when Jesus ascended into heaven. Pentecost, the gift of the Holy Spirit, God's presence in the world to Jesus' followers in the form of mighty wind and tongues of fire. Saint Days, official days recognized by many Christians, especially Catholic, Orthodox, and Anglican, celebrating people who have lived particularly full lives, lives and recognized as official saint. In addition, certain passages in an individual Christian's life are marked by celebration and special services. This include baptism, or birth into the Christian Church, confirmation and informed commitment to membership in the church, with the wedding and funerals. Okay, that's all. Any questions? Clarifications, additions? So if you don't have any questions, Please proceed or open your learning pad to answer your activity at www.kitesf.com or contact me or call me at 926 Thank you and God bless.